So in this video, I'm going to show you the OBS 23 RC2 build that's uh, on GigaHub if you want to download it to test it. They've uh, introduced uh, stream chat and Twitch stats so you can change your channel and who's following and all that crap. Anyway, the main things I want to show you is the filters. The expander filter is pretty awesome. Why is it turned up? Um, if you've got a TV on in the background, that will get rid of it. Obviously, when you talk, you're still going to hear it. And the limiter. Ah, oh, so long I've been waiting for a limiter. You can shout your balls off to your content without it in your viewers' ears now, so you can limit it right to there. But the main thing I want to show you guys is the new Kodak. Obviously, it's the same as the other one, but it says new on the end. And before I streamed at 720p, 60 frames a second, and my footage was really bitty in fast motion. I couldn't basically do it, it didn't look good. But now, with this new Kodak on my GTX 1080, I can stream at 1080p, 60 frames a second, with a little fast motion blur. Which is pretty amazing, so now I just stick it at 720, still at 60, and the stream looks perfect, like any other professional streamer, which I'm obviously not. Uh, they've added uh, some cool settings, I've got mine on max quality, and obviously 7500 for Twitch, I think it's maximum 7 on 7000 now. But I put it at 7500 so it goes right up to the 7 limit. Um, they've also added the look ahead feature which uh, checks your B frames for like um, still situations where you need 4 B frames and it'll make the quality better. But for fast motion pace it'll set it to 2. Got um, physical visual tuning which is increases the bit rate to the GPU I believe, I don't know, maybe totally wrong. And my recording has vastly improved. I, for recording, I use CQP, and before it was set at 22, it wasn't as good as Shadowplay, but it, it looks decent. And now I can set it down to 16, so you're going to get a bigger file size. And it looks better than Shadowplay now. Um, I use the same settings there for streaming, but CQP for recording. Um, I shall leave a link in this description so you can download the RC2 version and try it out for yourself and let me know if it's improved your stream or recordings. Um, I think it only works for the above 7 series graphics cards. You're not going to notice that much of an effect unless you have a GTX 1080. It's 1070, yes, 1060. It'll make it a bit better. Um, but it's mainly meant for the 20 series cards, apparently, but it works awesome on my GTX 1080. So, yeah, let me know if it's any better. See ya!